Hello and welcome. This is Vaseem Afsal. I am going to narrate two cases of Perita Carbonica. One of them is by Rajan Sankaran and the uh, other case is by Richardson Boydler. First, uh, uh, let's have a quick introduction of uh, Perita Carbonica. Basically, its mind symptoms are peevishness, irresolute, childish, thoughtless behavior, loss of self-confidence, shy of strangers, and uh, patient of Perita Carbonica uh, is also undeveloped also have undeveloped brain easily frightened and uh, he has uh, a lot of care of domestic affairs he also have some delusions and delusions of legs are cut off and the delusion of uh, as if his friend is going to die or going to be sick he has a delusion to be laughed at. These are all the key symptoms of mind of the patient of Perita Carbonica. About Perita Carbonica, Farrington says that it is indicated in nervous asthma in old people with aggravation due to wet or warm air. And uh, he says that it should not be given in catal asthma or asthma with emphysema. Uh, so we should we should avoid Barita Carbonica of the catal asthma patient and uh, asthma with emphysema. In old people, Farrington says in old people, paralysis with apoplexy and uh, paralysis of tongue is also indicated by Barita Carbonica and it's, it also indicates tonsillitis with formation of pus right side uh, of the throat is worse than left and uh, worse on empty swallowing uh, with enlargement of glands in neck under jaw and behind ears it is one of the remedy to prevent return of the condition of tonsillitis after exposure to cold, Barita Carbonica is also indicated in chronic quincy. About Barita Carbonica, Rajan Sankran says that patient of Barita Carbonica has history of frequent tonsillitis and premature aging, baldness of the uh, crown, especially specifically and loss of memory, hypertension, craving for sweets. Rajan Sankran says that there are two types of Barita Carbonica patients. One of them is dependent, accompanied by someone who speaks for and uh, the other is the copped up one. Sometimes copped up Barita Carbonica patient resembles aurum metallicum because of responsible and care of others and uh, Barita Carbonica uh, about Barita Carbonica Roger Morrison says that uh, uh, patient of Barita Carbonica has a frequent infection of otitis media ear pain often on right side or beginning right and going left worse on blowing nose large hard cervical glands hearing loss from huge tonsils and adenoids prostatic hypertrophy prematurely men in their 40s acne in girls at puberty uh, mostly in girls uh, acne is spotted at face and chest 
in Barita Carbonica and uh, about Barita Carbonica Farouk Master says that the uh, patient of Barita Carbonica has dry suffocative cough uh, and his chest is full of mucus and he has a lack strength to cough chronic atal states tuberculosis late in learning to walk and talk etc hair falls from vertex and uh, mustache baldness especially on crown and uh, scalp of perita carbonica patients uh, are very is very sensitive to touch fetid foot sweat and soul get sore followed by lameness okay now let's start our first case which is by richardson bodler uh, this is a case of nancy uh, a six year age uh, girl uh, she received a, a hamster for her birthday whom she loved dearly the mother is delighted to see her girl so actively engaged in play since she knows of the child's tendency to daydream or not be actively engaged with her toys when the hamster dies in an unfortunate accident nancy's world crumbles and she experiences the first real grief of her young life the mother is beside herself too trying to explain to weeping child that the hamster went to heaven where she will meet up with him someday this stifles her tears temporarily and she begins to look forward to a reunion in the future while she feels that all joy of the present has gone mother decides not to buy a new hamster since she wants to avoid tragedies of that sort while nancy confirms this decision by insisting that no hamster could ever replace her special friend nancy performance in school her social interaction and her motivation to play suffers due to her disappointment that is not coped with she sits unoccupied often wishing she could meet her hamster in heaven the task and joy at hand and even peers seems to give no joy or incentive she starts as task and or brief playful interactions and then discontinues since her interest is low she complains of boredom to her mother who begins to worry about her daughter the remedies clematis for daydreaming wild oat for lack of interest in play and school and star of betham for grief are prescribed her additional physical symptoms are tendency to colds and tonsillitis during cold there is usually swelling of upper lips and according to mother's uh, it was according to mother's observation often the glands of her neck are enlarged she has frequent hiccups and strong dislikes for acids fruits sometimes she complains of a pain or pressure in larynx Nancy is somewhat small child for her age and appears shy. Nancy was of the clematis type. She was often daydreaming and not actively engaged in play. Temporarily, the hamster had helped her to find interest and stay focused. Yet upon the hamster's sudden death, she relieved her former absent-mindedness and disinterest in play in a more intensified way since then more than before she looked to the future as holding the key to her happiness when reunion with her hamster would happen and she was convinced that the toys 
appears and try uh, uh, the present were worthless the present held no incentive or fascination and her mind wandered off into a place within herself where she gave herself to hopes for future enjoyments Barita Carbonica was the indicated homeopathic remedy for Nancy. Children in need of this remedy may also show stubbornness and a tendency to tantrums. Often they are also shy children that appear small for their age. The remedy is known to give developmental growth, sports in body and mind emotions when indicated on the physical plane barita carbonica typically shows among other symptoms a tendency to colds usually accompanied by a swollen upper lip and tonsillitis with swollen glands there is also strong dislike for acids fruit a tendency to hiccups and a pain or feeling of pressure in the larynx all of these symptoms were experienced by Nancy. Okay, now we will start our second case, uh, which is by Rajan Sankran in his book The Spirit of Homeopathy. In this case, he says that uh, he had a lady uh, aged 36 years, she developed a shoulder pain, uh, might be arthritis after the death of her neighbor of the same caste. She was not communicative with others in the whole building. The components of her was uh, childish, strangers, uh, presence uh, would aggravate her, bashful and delusion as if beloved friend is sick and dying and uh, which uh, which indicates that uh, there is uh, so much dependence on a friend all these symptoms are present in the berita carbonica so berita carbonica was prescribed and uh, she was free of uh, her shoulder pain 